Flex, United Stand TV. I'm here with Kay to get his thoughts and opinions on the game. 4-0, Kay. Comfortable, easy? Big performance. Um, I have not seen May United produce consistently like this for about three years. Big performance. I'm happy. End of story. I'm happy. Um, Lukaku, again. Matter getting in on the act. Fellaini. Oh, my goodness. Fellaini. <laughs> Okay, so you know, I want to talk about Fellaini because it's a weird one because a lot of people are saying, you know, he ain't good enough to play for Man United and why is he here? And, and I, was, I was one of his critics at the beginning, but even at Everton when he was there, if you play him in the right position, play him kind of higher up the pitch and where he can influence the game, he can be a handful. To be fair, when he was at Everton, he used to be our nemesis, but right now um, it, it, he's, he's contributing. And I'll tell you something, it just shows that what you need is a manager, the best manager to get Testing the optimum out of you. All right? It's the microphone here, mate. All right, it's the microphone here. <laughs> give, it, give, it, give him some time, give him some time. <laughs> yeah, what I was going to say is before I was rudely interrupted, um, you know, someone like Mourinho, he, he, he gets the best out of his players. And Fellaini, yeah, I was a critic, you were a critic, a lot of people were critics, but you can see that he likes playing for that manager because the manager's showing him love and he knows how to deploy him and use him. So, so that's, that's the thing about Fellaini. But I'm happy, I'm happy, they're all playing well. You talk about Mourinho um, knowing how to get the best out of the players, um, knowing how to tackle the big game. Speaking of a big game, uh, after the two-week international break, we've got Liverpool away. Um, how do you think Mourinho is going to go? Can you see him kind of uh, going all guns blaze, attacking? Because I know last year against Liverpool, we were very negative, had only a couple of shots on goal. How do you see it panning out this time? To be fair, that's our biggest test so far. But you have to remember that, you know, Liverpool away... It's, it's never going to be easy, but quite frankly, I'm, I'm fully in expecting us to go there and get a result. But in saying that, I mean, Liverpool, look, I'll hold my hands up. Liverpool are, Liverpool are a good side, but, you know, we're Manchester United. We can do anything, you know what I mean? So hopefully we, we, can, we can produce. Definitely. So things are looking up. In terms of, um, you know, how the season's going, etc., I know we're still early on. A lot of stuff, uh, uh, a lot of, like, the more difficult games to come. Um, how do you think we're looking in terms of mounting a serious title challenge this year? The football that we're playing warrants um, a trophy of, you know, a much higher standard than the League Cup last year. I mean, I think that we're competitive this year, really competitive. Champions League's looking good. Um, obviously, the league title. I mean, for me, I like the bread and butter. I like being champions of this country because there's a lot of Gooners and, you know, Liverpool fans. And, you know, I know the Gooners are going to be listening to this, right? This is not crucial Robbie fan TV or whatever it is. This is, this is Flex and Live O TV. <laughs> We do fan TV properly here at Manchester United. And there's the Crystal Palace fans. I'm just going to wave to them. You know what I mean? I'm just going to wave to them. We're in Manchester. They've had a tough time. No goals. You know what I mean? But as I said, it's looking good for the season. Long may it continue. Okay, thanks for coming on. Hope to see you soon.